Imagine Encounters, we are going to go on a swamp boat tour and see some alligators and other animals. What's up guys, we're about to start the tour boat. I'm really excited and I wonder what animals we're going to see on this tour boat. If you see any animals that you haven't seen before, write down in the comments what the animal's name is. Ready to have some fun? Yeah. I saw y'all on the wrong boat. Y'all should have went with one of the other guys. Uh, I'm no fun. Guys, my name's Nathan. Like I said before, uh, like I said, I will be your tour guide. Uh, like I said, 36,000 acres out here is actually open to the public. Uh, if you like to hunt, fish, traps, water ski, all that kind of good stuff, you have full access to this environment. Uh, it's called the Pearl River Management Area System. Uh, it's one of about 26 management area systems we actually uh, that are operating through the state of Louisiana. Hi, you guys. We are on the boat right now. Uh, that's just Look out for some cool animals. If you see any, tell me. So guys, y'all just bear with me just a minute. Uh, you can actually see his head right in front of the boat. Uh, and I said, then I'm gonna get him up on the side and he'll come tell y'all hello real quick. Uh, guys, please don't run to that side of the boat. Please keep your hands inside. There he is. Mm -hmm. What's up, Luke? What's up, Crooked? I was gonna say, are you familiar with a lot of them? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what side you want, big boy? Where you, where you going? You wanna come in the boat? Come on, I got some kids. <laughs> I got some appetizers, you know. So, you gonna start on this side? Okay. So guys, give me a few minutes. I'm gonna try to get him out a little bit where y'all can see him over this side. Y'all stay seated on this side. So, no, yeah, then y'all can stand up, and then I'll get him to come around the other side for y'all. Wow. So, what's up, big boy? Come here. Come here. Come on. What's up? Come here. What are you doing? Ah, I'm inside. Hey. Uh huh. Who is that? Uh huh. Nah, right, just trying to provoke him a little bit. Don't get him mad. Do they like hot dogs? They like everything. <laughs> mm. They might be full. Oh, Come here. Come on. Come on, lift that head up. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh! Mm. So Alright, they seen you jump. Now let's go right here. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Hi, buddy. Come on. Your phone out. Your phone out. Yeah. One more time. You can have it. Come on. There you go. All right. Whoa, look at his tail. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? How long? I need to get back to you. Watch that bag for me, please. Come on, you have a routine. You do this every day. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Cool! Whoa, he's so big! Okay, sit down for a second. They don't look that big in the water. Whoa! <laughs> Said, uh, but basically is that um, nature has designed these animals to be a great big old water lizard. Uh, these animals actually spend over 50% of their life swimming around out here. That's why you see algae and all that stuff growing on, the, uh, on the, their backs. Uh, but basically is that, um, you know, the term alligator is Spanish for elegato, uh, meaning the lizard. Um, I showed y'all these animals are about half body and half tail. For every tooth you see, the other one is already growing out behind and through the middle of that one. So if they break one off, that other one quickly takes its place and it'll continue to grow one out. Uh, I said uh, their teeth are not designed for chewing. It's made to whatever they really bite. Them.
boat got, this gator got hit. Aww. She got hit by a boat. About, I've been here seven years, about six years ago. This gator was only about four foot long when she got hit by a boat. Um, a bayou is actually nothing more than a naturally made ditch in the state of Louisiana with a pretty name attached to it. <laughs> uh, he said, uh, I'll show you the difference between a bayou and a canal in just a little bit. A uh, bayou is basically just formed from the river systems that they flow from. As the water starts flowing out through these environments, it scars the earth and creates these trenches. Uh, all bayous are different. They all run in different directions, and they're always shallower than the river systems they flow. Uh, so once I get up in here and get around the first turn, if you happen to fall overboard and you're an adult, stand up. It's only about four foot deep in the middle. Uh, you might not like when your toes are in down there, but at least it's to it. Uh, it said, this is the bayou that you've seen on television from Tom and Tom, uh, from James Bond, Live and Let Die. Uh, interview with a vampire, no mercy. Uh, some of the swamp scenes were filmed in here. With that fluted looking base at the bottom. Uh, these are waterish trees, so actually the more water that they have around them, the better off they are at growing. Uh, so uh, basically is that, uh, you know, these guys do have a lot of, uh, you know, adaptations to grow in this environment. You'll notice out there they are thicker at the bottom than they are at the top. And these guys do have a very strong root system. Uh, they do have tap roots, but that's not their strength. Uh, their strength is actually from their runner roots. Uh, as their roots grow out, they intertwine with the other <gasps> trees. And that's that's giving them a solid foundation. Oh, little 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 little. Little. Do you guys feed them? Is that why? Yeah, it is. Whoa! So, do you feed them it's or something? It's a pig. Yeah, that's why they're here. Yeah. It's a trash can. It's a wild panda. boar. Ray, oh, Ray, do you see the wild boar? It's coming! Oh my goodness! Oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Do not try and pet the pigs. They can and will bite you and I will laugh and leave you here. <laughs> I don't do paperwork. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm sorry. Yeah, we try not to feed the alligators back here because if we keep feeding the alligators oh here, they don't leave and the pigs don't come up the water. Come on. What's up, big mama? You ready? You ready? Come on. You ready? Smile pretty. Smile pretty. There you go. Oh my god. There's a corn sound. They are not native to the United States. They were introduced as early as 1525 by Hernandez de Soto. Uh, Christopher Columbus, no matter what you think, he did not discover America. All right, in 1492. Uh, he actually landed down in the Caribbean. Hernandez was one of the first ones that actually made hit, hit dry land oh, um, in them. the United States. I see a big uh, they brought the pigs yeah. with them to have something to eat, no. and they left them for the next group coming Thanks. up behind them. Uh, I said they found a oh. large population of the wild pigs in the Caribbean. Uh, they would swing down there, pick up a boatload of them, and then they would bring them into the country. Long legs, long neck, and a big powerful spear-shaped beak used for catching prey. They feed on fish, amphibians, reptiles, small mammals, anything that it feels like it can get down its throat. Uh, Alligator. 